Hello and welcome back to another video in here and today we do have another lockdown league race and this one is at Dragon Trail Seaside, um, the original in the N200 class and we did qualify third which is okay, it's pretty much our average starting position basically in this series as we end up qualifying in usually the top three positions and we're going to get a decent start here. And the car from second actually gets a very bad start. But we're going to go to the outside around this corner. But it is going to open up to the inside here. And that S2000 did get the jump on us. And he's actually going to lead in turn one with the Honda Civic making a move there. A bit of contact there as he kind of turned into us. And it's just kind of like a racing incident. And Slideshow in that other MX-5 is going to go through on the inside side by side here. Coming down into the right-hander now. And now under braking, and we're going to let two cars actually go into the inside, and we're going to settle into sixth place here, as this is a long race, so we are just going to see if we can settle, and we're going to skip ahead here later on the lap, and there, four wide coming through, going into the death chicane, and that is, we backed out as we, as you can hear, I literally had nowhere possibly where to go, now coming through here. And you can see the Lancia puts it in the wall, and then another MX-5 puts it in the wall. So that is going to bump up uh, us up into fifth place here, coming to the end of lap one. As you can see, there's a move for second place, as they're actually going to go three wide into the corner for second place. The S2000 is going to end up with the spot, and we're gonna actually going to go up to the inside of the Honda Civic here, who has this enormous speed on the straight in comparison to us and he's going to get in a draft and that is going to be the end of lap one so skipping on into lap two here we're coming through this middle sector chicane long it's like an elongated chicane and coming through here we're just gonna get tapped and gonna end up putting it in the wall and I'm not exactly sure what happened there I was on the outside and I think the Lancia Delta kinda moved over a bit and we were trying to avoid him and then just ended up putting him in the wall but we're fine as with the boost we caught up right away as we've caught the back of the pack already here on lap three and we're gonna go to the inside of the Delta and the other MX-5 and we get a good run we're gonna go side by side through the death chicane and we are gonna get the move pulled off we do have a bit of a penalty we have to kill it's not much and as you can see more people putting it in the wall the S2000 goes into the wall and the Lancia Stratos goes in the wall and we're up into fifth place as now coming through these final corners we're gonna see what we can do now as coming through these corners we are following the Civic the Irishman in the Civic and Riddy is gonna put it on the curb and put it back in the wall and he he had some issues as he kept hitting the wall and making mistakes but uh, with the boost on it's not going to be much of a deal here on lap four coming down into the hairpin here we're going to go to the inside and we are going to take the lead back on lap four and this is the first time we've actually been in the lead all race so skipping ahead to lap six we were just basically following slideshow around and trying to break a bit of a gap to the cars behind and it's not it's working somewhat but with the boost on on weak uh, I'm not exactly sure how it works I'm gonna have to figure that out and we are gonna go for the undercut here as some people pitted the previous lap and we could not let them get the too big of an undercut so we are gonna come into the pits here on lap six and we're gonna see how much fuel we need to actually go to the end we're not gonna change tires as our super softs are feeling pretty good at this point and just filling it all the way up and gonna see if we have enough fuel to make it to the end of the race and we're gonna come out in eighth place and as you can see Riddy who had pitted the lap before does get the undercut with the boost and skipping it on to lap eight there's a cluster of cars here and we're gonna look and see what we can do and we're all bunched up together and we're, we're stuck in the middle three wide and it is actually going to work out for us as we're going to come out in fourth place still three wide now as we're still three wide now coming down into here Riddy finally backs out so we are two wide we have the inside we're going to go to the inside of Bay's the best and see if we can outbreak him here and 
No, still running side by side as he gets the run on the outside. And we're still going to the outside here. Let's see if we can actually go too wide through here without wrecking like we did last time. And we're going to be in the draft, and that is going to be a move done up in the third place here, just over halfway through this race, catching the Civic as he's very slow through this corner. And we're going to go around the outside, coming off the exit. We just have carry so much more speed in the MX-5. And we're going to get a bit of a bump from behind, which is good. But he is going to actually go through the grass, as you can see in the top right. And they end up taking each other out as Riddy has gone again with crashing into the wall. But it's not really going to matter as, once again, we were just trying to battle it off. And we make a mistake here. And we overcorrect. And we were trying to just downshift it and get it to rotate. And it's not going to work as we're going to lose a bunch of time there with that crucial mistake. So skipping ahead on to lap 10 here, we're going to see we're still in this pack, these four MX-5s all together. And we're going to go and see if we can get a run on Minimax here. And we're going to go to the outside of him. So we're up in the third place now as Slideshow has actually come into the pits. And we're going to see if we can actually get a run on Reedy. We're going to go to the outside here, side by side. Now coming down into the corner, and Mini Max just goes in way too deep and ends up taking out and ends up taking out Riddy. And now it is just three of us here, but with the boost on, I'm sure that pack will just get bigger towards the end of this race. As we are coming down into here, Mini Max still leading Bay's the best in second and we're gonna see what we can get done here is we're actually gonna get a run here on Bay's the best now coming down into this left right section which is 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 actually quite fun on this track because it is basically flat out in these cars and we're in the draft here and we're gonna see if we can actually go to the lead we're gonna get a run here on Bay's the best. We're going to go to the outside. We got a r huge run on Minimax. We're going to see not close enough to make a move going into the corners. We're not going to try it. We're just going to see if we can work out. And Minimax actually goes a bit deep into the corner. We're going to get the run coming up into the death chicane here on lap 11. Seeing what we can get done side by side now. And he does not look like he's going to back out of it. He does have the inside, but we're going to have the inside here. We try to stay off him, and he ends up going into the wall slightly losing not much time but it is going to allow Bayes the best back into the lead and now Minimax giving us a bit of a push slideshow is here now so we are in a group of four and Minimax is going to go to the inside here and he's just going to use us as a bit of a turn and we're off into the grass once again and he was complaining about his tires the whole race but he didn't need to really run me off the track there, but it is what it is with the boost. We should be fine and still have a challenge late in this race. So, skipping ahead, just one lap later, we are back up into fourth place. We're going to go up into third as we get a run on Bay's the best, and we're going to see if we can actually catch down Mini Max and Slideshow, who have put a bit of a gap, but if they start battling, that will disappear very quickly as we get a tap from behind going into the corner that actually helps the car rotate and we're back up into third place here on lap 13 and already now coming out of the twisty section we got a huge run getting pushed from behind we're gonna have two wheels in the grass and we're gonna go up into the lead of the race here on lap 13 so we're back in the lead momentarily as we're three wide slideshow's gonna go through Riddy's gonna get the draft off him and we're just gonna tuck behind him and come through the death chicane here on lap 13 still within a shot of a win here just late in this race is this was probably the most packed up the whole field has been in any of these races as this was really good racing as we actually get a run here on Riddy and Slasher is going to move over just a bit just to, just enough to give us a run into the corner we're going to see if we can get it slowed down and stay off him we're going to get a slide job done and that is going to work for the momentarily as we're side by side coming down the front straightaway we're going to see who actually does it and you can see the Stratos is just going to go right through the middle of us as he has the superior straight line speed and we are not going to have enough to beat Slideshow to the line. And Riddy's got a huge run with the draft. 
and another car is going to go through the Civic right there is now coming through into the first chicane we're going to lose a bit of time now here with just over three laps to go in this one and we are I think going to watch it till the end here with just three laps to go as this was very exciting racing as we're going to go to the inside here of Minimax <laughs> and actually make a bit of contact there and here is you're going to see the Lancia Delta with that shed paint scheme on is going to come through and he's back up into sixth place now we actually get checked up there and that's going to allow Bayes the best to get a bit of a run on us and he's going to lose it behind us as you can see it in our mirror and in the top right he's going to spin behind us now we're still with within a shot as we've got a draft here off the Civic who's did not get a great run off the corner as he's losing a ton of time coming down we're going to go to the inside of the Delta now under braking and the Civic's going to drive deep into the corner that's going to be up in a fifth place and we are still within a shot of winning this one as the draft is just ridiculous on this track and with Riddy leading Mark in second and two more Amex 5s of Mini Max and Slideshow they're three wide for the lead we're going to get a run we're going to go to the inside inside of one inside of two we're up in a third place we're going to come through the middle and now down into second gear try to avoid the back of the Stratos and once again we're gonna get shoved a bit wide we actually stay on the track that time luckily but we are did not get a great run and now we're stuck in this huge pack as you can see the S2000 has now caught the back of us we were trying to get a bit of a bump but he's not gonna do it he's gonna go to the inside and now a huge pack of cars probably about six or seven of us coming through down into this first corner we're gonna see if we can just keep it clean and it, it, we are going to stay clean and we're going to go to the outside. We're going to take a bit of a hip check there and actually get run off the track by the S2000. And we're going to lose out a lot of time there here on lap 15. We're going to skip later. We've found our way back up into third place. We're going to come through the final corner here, coming on the final lap. And we were going to catch him and Braden does it again where he ends up running in too deep and using us to turn and push us off the track and that's going to allow Bayes the best to come through and he's just complaining about his tires that was not I was not particularly happy with that move but it's in the past and now we have to just see if we can do our best to come off with a podium here is I don't think second place is going to be possible here in this one as you can see this as the Stratos goes in way deep into the corner and he's complaining about his tires as well but that's okay um, we're in the past and we're now within a race for third as the two leaders are definitely gone of slideshow and Riddy and we're gonna see if we can actually just hang on to a third place finish here as we're following the Stratos who does have the better straight line speed the Cy Boyle behind us who's actually up in the fifth place runs wide and he's gonna lose a position there or not as he's actually hanging on into fifth but it's gonna fall out dropping all the way back into seventh place here coming now onto the front stripe we're right behind the Stratos who with by himself should actually be faster but in the draft it's just so much faster in the draft and we're gonna see if we can actually pull the move off we're not gonna try it into there we're gonna actually we are gonna go into there as he runs it way too deep and leaves the door open He's going to try the switchback. It's not going to happen. We get this better drive off the corner. Now through the death chicane, a final time, flat out, up into fourth gear, trying to use as much of the curbs as possible without actually hitting the wall. Get a decent run through there. Not bad as we actually put a bit of a gap between us and Minimax, who, though he did it last lap, we're going to see if he actually tries this stupid move again. And... I was not real happy and he's gonna do it again and this time we're just gonna let him go and he does have a penalty so that that will be the end of his race as we're gonna end up finishing third even if we don't beat him back to the line and right behind Braden here and we're not gonna beat him to the line but he is gonna serve that penalty and fall all the way back into sixth place with that one second penalty so there are your finishing results slideshow gets the win Riddy then us and those were the results for that race, so 
We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.